Thank you. Thank you for the check. They put that little motherfucker. Purse, middle zipped compartment. Right. See, just one of the many reasons why I love you. You know how much to use? Yes. Hey, Buyata, Batakewa. Love you, my. Adorable little anal compulsive. What hoops did your minions arrange for me to jump through this time, huh? Don't be a dick. There's a new program. Well, I haven't tried yet. Lucky me. I'm not the one with a DUI. I'm not the one being threatened with jail. You act like I sit here coming up with reasons to torture you for fun. I don't, Dad. Chill. I hear the words. I'm having a hard time buying them. Okay, I'm sorry. You don't have a hard time buying everything else. My years of therapy and rehab, my BS diploma, and my freedom. <laughs> Give me that. There's a mentoring program at the university with a high success rate for people like you. <laughs> people like me. It's an addiction recovery program. It's a new approach initiated by the program director, who, by the way, is going to be your supervising professor. No shrinking? Shrinking, yes. It's in conjunction. You'll see a psychiatrist outside the university system. The program focuses on the student's transition back into academia. So you can graduate and, and eventually find a place in the real world. But I'm not a student. You are. You are. It's, it's an excellent opportunity. You've wanted to be a writer since forever, right? A lot of shit since forever. You will do this. Or else? Don't be ridiculous. The court will put you in jail. These uh, should help you sleep. They're, they're herbal. They're supposed to be non-habit forming. Sean, you need to make this work.
Mr. Wittig. You're seven minutes late. Wow. That's really an improvement for me. Not from my perspective. Oh shit, you're the JT Dalton? I prefer Professor Dalton. Okay, Professor Dalton. Rule number one, don't waste my time, Mr. Wittig. Wait in my office. I will be with you in seven minutes. Aye, aye, Professor Dalton. Uh. Don't touch my things. Wait for it, wait for it. Now it's seven minutes. Is that your idea of being clever? Well, I was going for cute, but all right, I'll take clever. Rule number three, be on time. I get that. I have no doubt you can read, Mr. Wittig. My job is to make sure you reach your goals. That'll be easy. I don't have any. I can see you. You worry too much. Aya! Would you just let me in on it already, huh? What's that about who me? And do I look like I need your fucking protection? Nothing I haven't done before, baby. Really? Who's so well with Genie? We were freaking babies then. And that was Taiwan. Woman gun sway, bend down. Don't watch. Wobble Gwen. What happened to not leaving your gender behind? Vicky, I'm evoking my right. No, don't. Zhenjin Bu told me. Made it with a minute to spare. Happy? Impressive, Mr. Wittig. Including the rules you broke yesterday, it's a real talent to break four before you even begin work. What? Wait, you think I broke four? Do you even remember what it is? Oh, rule number four? Um, yeah, no altered states. Hmm, ethanol sure doesn't slow down your synaptic transmissions. Ethanol? Too bug, Chuck. <laughs> I'm not drunk. There goes rule number five. Are you trying for a record, Mr. Wittig? Rule number five. Oh, I'm not lying. I can smell it from here. Note to self, get more Tic Tacs. Okay, it was one little drink, more like a sip, really. It won't happen again. You read the contract you signed, right? Yeah, just consider me warned. Oh, you think that's all you're getting? Oh, fuck. 
First offense, eh? Better take a break. You look like you're getting high from the fumes. Say you work fast, but... All the applause, please. Don't think I can't smell past the Tic Tacs. Nice try. Besides, I did what you asked. I washed every little piece of your fine-ass china. Pun intended. And it stunk like hell. I needed help to take off the edge. But ease the pain, you know? I could help you with that. Ease the pain. Round off the sharp little edges. Are you sure you're ready to play with the grown-ups, Mr. Wittig? Yeah. I've been playing with adults before I even became one. Bring it. You must be stoned out of your mind. Oh, wait, that's not all, Professor Perfect. You didn't smell the ethanol this time, did you? like fat and malt, so green label whiskey? Not that you deserve it, but I was trying to save you some humiliation. Hey, come back here. Hey, you can't get away talking to me like that, lady. Hoops did your minions arrange for me to jump through this time, huh? You need to make this work. Just be stoned out of the your way. Mind. That's not all, Professor Perfect. You need to make this work. <laughs> the court will put you in jail. I can't remember her face, Dad. You've been twisted up in this for, for so long. You've been, you've been punishing yourself nonstop with all the junk in your body. You're going to give this rehab a real shot. And you are going to start forgiving yourself. It's time. You did not kill that girl. It was an accident. Mr. Dalton? Hi. Peace offer. Please give me a second chance. No bribes. Except for the apple. No threats. No bark from my father. I'll be this program's poster boy. Whatever you ask, I'll do. I swear. I'll even show up to therapy on time. 
I mess up once, I'll leave willingly without a word. I need your help. Not so fast. You're on academic probation, so all your classwork and work study for my lab will be closely supervised. I want to know where you are at all times. I'll be your f slave. Let's minimize the expletives. I'll be your fracking slave. <laughs> That's some potent stinking sh stuff. Low essence reagent contains sulfur, which explains the smell. Yeah, nothing explains that smell. Feeling better, Mr. Wittig? Much. An apple? Really? Uh, Our Majesty's office door, too? Are you crazy? If it's open, let her close and lock it when she leaves. If it's closed, Touch that doorknob at your own risk. It's your life. Is she doing something naughty behind those closed doors? Very interesting. Don't be too interested. She'll shit can you if you even touch that door when it's closed. This is an addition for her rules for the lab. You memorize her rules, right? Yeah, one to seven. This is a stop! Wrong one! All right, chill, man. What, it's not like it's gonna kill me. Duh, hello! D2O, not H2O. Deuterium is the isotope of hydrogen. You drink enough of it, you die. Hey. Hey. You're Carl Wittig's son, aren't you? Uh, yeah. I'm not sure it's dismay. <laughs> My girlfriend, Tammy. <laughs> okay. I'll catch you two lovers later. Oh, and I'll run those thin little plate thingies after my class. Thin layer chromatography, TLC. Like tender loving care, but not. Right. Remember why you're doing the TLC? Um, so I can find out what are the products from your reactions. The sample's in the fridge. In vials in the beakers marked for Professor Dalton. No! I'm kidding. I look for the label for Sean. Ha! Huh, you're a riot. Do you know what solvent to use? Hexane. Do you know where it's stored? I'll find it. Maybe you should wait for me to do it first. You can use some help with the technique. Man, I got it all right here in the idiot guide you gave me. Look, it's color-coded and everything. Hey, there you go. Okay, here we go. Samantha Chen was survived by her parents and a sister who was not available for comment. Ellen Chen, according to the Chen's neighbors, was institutionalized after the overdose death of her sister. So, uh, your program got you doing that? Opening old wounds? That seems counterproductive. I'm just curious. Did you ever meet Ellen? No. No, the, the Chen family wanted anonymity. They wanted us to leave them alone and to leave Ellen alone. I think we should do that. Anyway, she, uh, she never really got her shit together from what I heard. I mean, she's still in the mental hospital. You know, she looks a little like that professor of yours. Put her in something sexy and she could be a hottie. Oh, dude, grow up. While you're at it, give me a beer. You grow up. You're riding. You get a water. Go see.
Hey, Sean. Amy. How was your weekend? It's great. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What'd you do? Did you have fun? I like fun too. Okay, um, I gotta get to class, so if you'll excuse me. Whatever. You don't know what you're missing out on. Thanks for coming. Did I have a choice? Do you have kids, Professor? You're a parent. You love your son. I get it. Do you? Yes, more than you know. And in light of that, I expect to be kept up to date in his progress. It seems like such a small thing to ask after such a large donation, wouldn't you agree? No, it's only natural, but Mr. Whitty... Carl, please. Carl, um, your son has a right to privacy, too. He's not a kid anymore. I'm not sure he ever had a chance to be a kid. His mother died when he was four. She had cancer. Now, after that... 
he needed something, and it was something that I, well, I obviously failed to provide. I used to blame my parents for a lot of my misbehaviors, but then I realized that they just loved me the way they knew how. I find it difficult to imagine you misbehaving. Mr. Um, Carl, your son is almost 30. At some point, he has to take responsibility for himself. I signed him up to your program because your numbers were so good. Having met him, do you or do you not think you can help him? Trust that I will give him the future he deserves. Did you zero the balance, Mr. Wittig? I didn't know anybody was here. Yeah, it's zeroed. Use the spatula to load the platinum chloride. It's better to underestimate. Ah, oh, frack. I went over. I'll take it out with this, right? Uh-huh. And make sure your fingers don't touch the weighing paper at this small quantity. Your sweat or body oil might significantly increase the error margins. My hands are too big for this. Oh yeah, they're big. Hold it like this. And scoop. Then use the index finger of your other hand. Tap and smash it lightly. Harder than it looks. It's because you're tired. Go home and get some rest. Yeah. You haven't noticed I'm kind of having a little problem with sleep right now. Have you identified the source of the problem? What do you mean? Well, our program uses the scientific method as the steps to reach sobriety. I like lists, don't you? All the more to focus by. This is uh, what scientists use to reach a goal from beginning to end. Instead of 12 steps, you have seven. I've always felt it's the most efficient way for anyone to get anything done. I'm gonna need you to hold my hand through this. It's what I'm here for. Step one. Question. What's my question?
，美丽的公主，求求你了，好不好嘛？不好。Hey, where are you going? 回到这里来嘛。娃娃给我，娃娃。Spots are too close. Um, even them out across the line, like you're dividing your one line into four equal segments. Ed said to draw the spots away from the edges. That's correct, but you have more than enough room to spare. Works on the、uh, principles of capillary action. It's、uh, attraction between a liquid and a、um, solid surface when they come into contact with each other. I get that. Opposites attract. Three times. Problem two, too heavy a load. Translation. Three fast jabs. Three fast jabs. <laughs> When you touch and hold, see how it spreads and makes one big mess. I think I'm learning my lesson now. That will give you much sharper, more focused, smaller spots, not blurred or a.、Uh, Spread way out. Thank you, Professor Dalton. Don't thank me yet.
Do you need some help? I'm good. Making sure we're all stocked up? Yeah. This gives you leverage and steadies the transfer to avoid spillage. Noted. The vocabulary action I talked about before, it's how we don't spill a drop. The attraction causes a sucking up action onto the rock. Are you paying attention? Absolutely. Are you serious about this? Can you find me an alternative? Yeah, honey, move on. I've tried, you know I have. I think go. I think go. What are you searching for? I thought you had bottled water. It's not in there. Sit. Okay. I'll get it for you. I thought I saw bottles. Those weren't H2O, those were D2O. Still haven't learned the difference yet, huh?
Your choice. You're messing with me, right? What do you think? Wait, wait! Jesus, you scared me. <laughs> Wash your hands, we're almost ready for dinner. Go!
My parents used to bring me here when I was little. It's beautiful, isn't it? My poor parents. That was their worst nightmare. <laughs> The irony was uh, my bad influences weren't from Chinatown. Yes. Exclusive private school. I was so wild. <laughs> Crazy. You? Wild? Well, I'd love to have seen that. Sometimes I swear we're just just leaves to our hormones. <laughs> Melatonin causes drowsiness. Endorphins produce feelings of well-being. Serotonin regulates our moods, appetites, and sleep. You mean being controlled by them? Well, yes. Progesterone has a calming effect. And testosterone and estrogen. Uh-uh. Ni hao ma. How are you, Mrs. Yang? How many years it has been? I see you. I worry about you. If your parents can see you, they should be here. Oh, yeah, Mama. We can not talk to my father. Oh, how, how? 新的男朋友，呃，不是，不是男朋友。哎，不用跟我害羞，我玩你的尿布呢。杨妈妈，你这样讲，我脸都红起来了。不用脸红，膝盖不痛了。年年轻人精力充沛，些好事。哦，不是，嗯，不，我不是啊，算是是算你的尿布啊。好了好了，只是不是这样。擦我脸红，好了好了，你应该很开心，他长得那么英俊 ，very handsome。Thanks。Yes。嗯，杨妈妈，我们需要走了。呃，你呀，自己保重。I have。Restaurant. I give you the best gong pao chicken. Come. Okay, of course. Very nice. I'm there. Today morning, how much time? Ah, Jia Die. Mrs. Yang.
take it back. It doesn't matter. I might as well have taken a gun and shot her. Ow. Sorry. After they questioned me, the dad came in. He was older. Distinguished. Thought he would hit me something. But he just just looked right, right through me. As if I didn't exist. He always does. The terrible thing is... I don't remember her face.
was I was so miserable before we met. I didn't care. But you make me feel so good. When we're together, it's like... It's like it's all fixed. Walk away, Sean. Forget all this. Forget me. Just run as far away as you can from here. What? I'm, I'm not running. None of these things that you, that you care about matter to me. I'm not who you think I am. I'm beyond repair. It's just not my karma this time. I love you. You shouldn't. Then tell me you don't love me. Feel it. It's you, Sean. It's always been you. In ways that you'll never understand. This where my money's going? Where is she? Dad, don't. I did not put you in this woman's school so she could seduce you. No. Now where Just is Just listen to me. It's, it's not, not like it's that. Not right? Right? It's not like that. JT Dalton, aren't you the shape-shifting succubus? That's, that's, stop it now. I'm going to throw you out. Why him? Of all the people in this world to pick on, why pick on my son? Stop the money? It, please. You wanted to get into my family's money? Was that it? Or are you just like I'm young? What? Oh, I'm thinking it was about the money. It was about the money, right? You read about my kid in the papers, big accident, about to go to jail. Suddenly you show up out of the blue with this miraculous solution. What? Wait, I thought my dad went to you. She told you that? that you were a, a ticket to funder program. You get money from my father to put me in the program? Tell me that wasn't all planned. Let's get out of here, Sean. Tell him the truth. She can't. Just tell him you love me. Just that much. Please. No, no, no. Lady, you slept with my son, the addict, in your care. I know what I seem like to people. Because I have money, a lot of toys, women, whatever. It leaves the wrong impression. Because all I really care about is Sean.
I'll do anything to protect him.删了耶，没关系，我会慢慢的帮助你。好，你长大的时候，你什么东西都不会忘掉，对不对？不要怕，这是你应该高兴的。数学对我来说啊，也是很容易的。如果有人敢取笑你的话，我会来保护你，就没有人敢欺负你了。嗯，<笑>哎，小杰呀。怎么样啊？你记不记得我教你的数学？哈、啊？哦，对对对。哦，你忘掉一个五，还有个七，对不对？没关系，你好聪明，这么小就知道。你长大的时候，我会教你更多的数学。不要担心，我一定会在这帮你的。好可爱，你知道吗？我好爱你哦，小蝶。Professor Dalton, this is Audrey from the Probation Services again.、Um, Sean Wittig is still skipping out of his mandatory meetings in her office and his therapy sessions. Listen, it's urgent that you call me as soon as possible and let me know if he's reported back to you since we spoke last. Okay, thank you. Sean, I'm worried. Would come in handy again someday. Shades of a misbegotten youth, I'll get out. Sean, oh my God, are you kidding me? Sean. Exactly, a man of material needs, huh? Hey, honey. Do you know a Tammy Boyle?
Time out, guys. What did you take? I told him only to have one. That's what I had. But one wasn't enough buzz for him. Okay, I'm calling for an ambulance. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Ed, grab Gadget, get out of here. No, I don't want to go. go. Oh, for God's no. sakes! No. What else did you take? What do you care? Stay awake with me. Don't worry. I didn't try to kill myself. I'm okay. Just go away. Shut Look at me. Look at me. you love about me? Sweet. Tender. <gasps> Thoughtful. Please. You can't die yet. My love, please. Mm. Listen, about all the, the drinking and everything, I'm sorry. I just couldn't stop myself. That's the problem. You never stop. Not this way, at least.
Want some lunch? No. I'm still not hungry. Drink. The tea will make you feel better. Mm-mm. You know what I'm hungry for. Not until you drink some. It's for your own good, trust me. If you won't do it for yourself, then uh, do it for me. Drink. <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm. Delicious. <laughs> Are you happy now? Absolutely. told anyone. Only my parents knew. And Vicky. Because they were there. But now my parents are gone, so... Sammy was just a kid. And so was I. I was so young. Samantha. You're her sister. I'm her mother. You have to understand. Being the only child of very traditional Chinese parents, I was wildly rebellious. Got pregnant at 13 despite them. Didn't even bother to find out who the father was. Completely unacceptable to their affluent circle of cronies. So they claimed Samantha as their daughter, took control of both of us and moved us out of Chinatown. Turns out, Sammy was even more free-spirited than I was. So beautiful. Hard to resist, wasn't she? It's all a lie. God. T. Poison.
Wake up. I would have given you my life. She didn't want that for you to die, you know? Maybe she actually did fall in love with me and decided to kill herself instead. I don't know. It takes a long time to die by deuterium oxide. So whatever plan she made, she did it a long time ago. Didn't you ever notice she kept you away from the wine? That's where she kept the D2O. I thought it was just because of my addictions. God, no. It was because of her addiction. She was just so completely haunted by Samantha's death. She couldn't let it go. Do you know what she was planning? Frankly, I thought she was going to kill you. So she wanted me to love her and lose her. Or maybe she just wanted to transform you so that you'd actually have a conscience. And then you'd have to suffer the same pain she felt after what happened to Sammy. Or maybe she just wanted to save all those other girls from you repeating the same mistake over and over again. Hey. Maybe she just simply loved you. Really matter either way. All our hearts. Mm -hmm. 